Hello, my name is uh, Crazy5, and today I'm going. This is going to be like a new kind of video that I'm going to be doing because this is not intended for like gaming purposes. I'm just doing this tutorial to help out my friends at school. Right now, we're struggling, and my our teacher isn't helping us with all this AutoCAD stuff. So I'm going to be their teacher. Yeah. So. Without further ado, let's get in. So, I have the startup command activated and I'm going to go to feet and inches. Now, the drawing we are going to be doing today is the adjustable support. It's kind of, it's like, you know, it's dealing with circles, trimming, and this is number one out of, I think, eight drawings. So, <clears throat> if you look down here at the very, uh, at this, okay. Just making sure it's full screen. Look, make sure you look down at the bottom. Here are my settings. So I'm going to have the grid, and then right now, from these are my snap settings. I have the rectangular snap. Snap is going to be triggered throughout this tutorial. 2D model space is on, and yeah, that's that. <clears throat> and then I have polar. Oh wait, polar tracking is not on object snap tracking object snap and then you know all that and then also have the toolbar up here the object snap toolbar so first off I'm going to start with selecting my units so I'm going to go to three digits and I'm going to make sure they're decimal and of course I said the units are going to be inches now format drawing limits yes put on those drawing limits Dimension style, don't need to do anything. And then view, zoom, I think that's already zoomed in. Okay. Anyway, so I'm going to put the drawing up on the screen. Hopefully, I don't forget it. It's probably be in the thumbnail. But anyway, so first, the drawing has like a circle on the bottom left. So I'm going to activate the snap mode so I can have a defined center point. And then this is going to be a diameter of one so it's going to be a 0.5 radius so just place it anywhere and then you're going to go and do another circle with one. Oh, sorry uh, I meant I meant two yeah same thing one two All right. now that you have that you're going so there's a big circle like if you see from the left to the right there's a it says R3 that's a circle that you're going to have to make so you're gonna to go to the radius go to this center point right here from the first circle and type 3 now this made this circle alright now you're going to go to annotate and the center mark now the center mark is going to be very helpful and in determining this next circle All right. So what you're going to want to do is extend this out. Now, if you can see, it creates a point right there, right here, in this little gap here. So what you want to go back to is to home, and then the radius of these few things are 50. So 0 0.50, there you go. Now, you're going to want to make a line that goes up so I'm just gonna put to 4 as length I'm gonna hit tab 40 degrees that's what you're going to want now you're going to take another circle with a radius 0 0.50 okay so now you have your two circles right here alright so we're gonna have to do a little bit of no not math yet there's going to be a little math included later. Anyway, circle, diameter. Now we're going to have to miss a, a, a diameter of one. So hit one. Wait a minute. Did I do something wrong? I think I did something wrong. Radius is point five zero. Oh, wait. I'm... Now we're going to do <laughs> the diameter 
well, diameter is going, so the radius is one, so diameter will be two. And then hit again, two. Oh, okay. I'm s two. There you go. Now that that's created, we're gonna have to do a little bit of math. So, you see how this circle right here that I'm highlighting was 3, alright? If this is a radius 0.5, in order to create this edge right here, we're going to have to... No, I'm sorry. This circle right here is a diameter of 1. So, we have to add 1 onto this to connect with this. So what we're going to do is create a circle with a radius and make the radius 4. And as you can see, it has lined up. So now we're going to click on these two circles with a, di with a radius of 1 and then trim the rest away and you have this right here. All right. Now we're going to do the same thing with this right here. So if this is 3, that's is going to be 2. So radius 2. Now just that that trim the rest away. Now what I'm going to do is trim this and I am going to trim this. All right. So now we still have the inner portion of the circle to do. So since this is 0.5, so this was 3, okay? We need to back it up by 0.5, all right? So that was 3, so it's going to be 2.5. All right. Click on this and this. Trim the rest away. And we're going to do the same thing. If this was 3, this is going to be 3.5. 3.5. Okay. Click on the two circles. Trim. Now what I'm going to do is trim the bottom of these two circles and you are good. Now you have this portion right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the rest of this circle right here. So I'm going to do that and trim. Now you're going to want to have the line right here because that's part of the drawing. All right. So now it gets easier from here. You're going to go to tan tan radius circle. Click here and here and the radius is going to be 3 right here and here trim this away now do the same thing for the top but radius is going to be 5 so here and here so 5 All right, uh, this has given me trouble, so I'm going to skip ahead until I get it right. All right, there you go. Finally got it. So I just need to do the top corners. That's it. So what you're going to do now is same thing. That and that. And trim it all away. Right, so now it's time for the dimensions. It's kind of simple so I'm gonna extend this line out a little bit because we're gonna need it for the 40 degrees all right so let's start from the top radius and then your precision just change it right radius again precision Right, another radius again. Just 
keep going around doing this until oof, to all the radius radii. What's this for? Oh, oh well. So then for angular, click on this, click on this, and there's your 40 degrees. Now here comes the hard part. So I'm going to go activate my object snap here. You're going to want to go to the aligned. Now you have to kind of get in the middle of this. Hold on a second. You're going to kind of get in the middle of this because you have to make sure it's exactly once. Where it says extension one, that's where you want to put it. Uh oh. Exactly one. No, I don't want it to that. So you want to make sure that it's not going to be All right. There's your line. Make the position three digits. There you go. And then you're going to have to make this the circle that we cut out. Go to by layer, and you should see center right there. And then it'll be center line. And this line right here, you need to actually extend it to go through the center like this and make that center line as well. Now you're going to want to extend these center lines up just a tiny bit to match, to kind of match the picture. Now just finish off the rest of the dimensions. Which are three. Okay, diameters now. This circle. Right, now we have to make the another one of these. So we're going to turn on the polar. All right. Three. No, I don't. Okay. It's kind of tricky. Where does it go to? It goes to the middle point. So you're going to make sure it goes relatively close to the middle, but not that close. I'm going to turn off polar for now. Well, object snap. Because we may need to make sure it's exactly 3. Now, it, it looks like 2.9974. But if you go to precision, 3. Now, I'm going to make this a little smaller. So to make things smaller, go to properties, text height, and 0 0.16. I'm going to make it. There you go. Looks good. And I think this drawing is done. It's not that hard. It's going to get harder as it goes along. But this is how it's going to be. Uh, this is probably how this unit's going to be, how it's going to go. Um, To all my classmates watching this, we're all in this together. Don't feel out or anything. We'll all help each other from the teacher. And yeah. Um, need any help? Just give me in class and I'll help with this. Since I've already made it, what, three times? So, yeah. Thank you for watching and sorry to all the Battlefront people. This is just something personal I had to do on this channel, right? 
so there it is